A warm and good evening to one and all present over here. You've, we have gathered together for our Lady of Fatima Church's live quiz, quiz number four. The quiz is based on restoration and multiplication. This quiz is going to be a game of the mind, intellect, knowledge, wisdom, and a lot of fun and joy. Um, we know that you're all excited and curious to get into the competition. You have your adrenal rush coming up and uh, you're all excited and you want to win this game. But hold on for some time. Let's take a look at how far we have come in this journey. So, so far in this series, we had seven quizzes. Out of all that, we had a total submission of 221. We had 221 submissions from around 67 parishioners participating from a total of 18 communities. We saw some amazing participation. Uh, good job, everyone. I hope the numbers keep increasing. Now, let's take a look at the winners of quiz number seven. That, the, that was the last quiz that was conducted. Let's take a look at the winners. So we have some amazing winners on the screen. You can see a lot of them who scored full points, 200 on 200. We have Crystal, Christina, uh, Preetam, Priya from the sa same community, Don Bosco with 200 points. We also have Narius and Lakshmi from Don Bosco again with 200 points. Uh, we have Flavia and Hubert from Our Lady of Mercy community with 200 points again. And we also have Audrine with 150 points from St. Valentin community. We also have Lichin from Don Bosco community again with 150 points. So congratulations to all the winners. Well done. Now let's welcome our honorable guest for today, Father Anthony to inspire us and motivate us with his lovely message and blessings. Good evening to all of you and praise the Lord. It's nice to hear that uh, 67 participants are, have participated in this quiz program. And I will say that this quiz program is going on because of your support, your encouragement, your participation in the quiz encourages the quiz ministry to do their best and come up with lively creative quizzes which upbuilds ourselves now your participation is beneficial in two ways first of all as i said it encourages the quiz ministry the bible quiz ministry but it also helps each one of us who are participating to know more about god because in the participation itself, you're going through the live talks, the talks that were given presently on restoration. And by going through these talks, you are developing yourself on the knowledge of God. And I'm sure as we develop ourselves with the knowledge of God, we put it into prayer. We try to implement it. 
and that is where we strive to know god not only know about god but to know god that is where we strive to and uh, so my dear participants thanks a lot for participating in it and developing your own soul your own spirit towards knowing god and his knowledge we have been uh, now concentrating on restoration and these are the eight sessions that have gone to eight talks and on this eight talks that you are going to uh, give your replies on the quiz now as we see the world itself especially our country we are going through tough times this is a second wave and the peak they say will come in mid of may so we are still going towards it but uh, we are really facing great times great challenge for our country for our city and we seek for restoration the restoration which will surely come in few days after the peak that we look out once again to normalize restoration not only requires in the sense of healing of sickness but also restoration in different kinds restoration from depression from frustration from stress from anxiety so many things that are going on and each one of us are facing different kinds of problems and as we have developed ourselves in the knowledge through the talks we need to implement it and you have developed yourself see how well you can implement it in a most special way i request you because you are special children of god your interest in knowing about this uh, word of god knowing about god itself reveals that you have more love of god and you want to develop that so you are special children of god and as children of god definitely your prayers will be heard by god and so i request you in a special way during this tough time especially during this month of may we ask the intercession of mother mary the powerful intercessor to pray for us that she may intercede for us to be out of this terrible problem there are various rosaries held from parishes deaneries and diocese level also to participate in them our parish is going to participate in uh, on 8th of march 8th, 8th of may sorry we have uh, the day assigned for us from the deanery and of course the prayer group will uh, send you the link i request you to participate in it as we go ahead let us now place ourselves before god i pray for you that you may Yes, what Father was about to say is that he would like to share his blessings. So, with the intercession of Mother Mary, uh, we ask the uh, Lord Jesus to bless us in this during this time, and that we may soon overcome this pandemic and uh, get to meet each other physically also. Uh, so, uh, am I audible? Okay, so we have Father back. Am I audible? Hello. Yes, Father, you are. uh i think i spoke a lot but then i don't know whether it was heard or not heard because here it was uh, on plain mode so can you let me know till where did you hear me speak yeah so uh, you were um, ending on that part where we were seeking maybe blessings for something so uh, yeah okay so blessings. let us now uh, seek the blessings of the lord i pray for all the participants that all of us may be blessed and may receive the grace of god so let's sign ourselves in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen lord jesus i praise and glorify you i thank you lord for your special grace upon these lively participants who have come who have joined in this program we seek your blessings upon them that as they do their best as they put their best in this they put their efforts into this 
participation of the quiz, that they may receive your grace and your help, and they may do to the best of their capability. Help them and help this organizers also, that everything may move on smoothly, that the questions may reach to the participants and they may be able to reply also in a smoother way. Help all of us, be with us, you are always there. We seek your special protection upon our family, upon us, for good health, peace of mind and body. Be with us, accompany us. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. Thank you for your blessings, Father. Thank you for that wonderful message um, and inspiring us to so do well today. So I know we are all excited, curious. Um, we can't wait to begin. We are ready with a lot of energy, enthusiasm, and excitement. But before we begin, let's take a look at the rules. Uh, some of you have already participated before, so you know these rules. Uh, in case we have new members, so it's in the best interest for all of us to look at the rules once again. Invite your family members also to join. Uh, let's take a look at the rules. Rule number one is that this quiz is going to be played live right here, right now. So there will be three rounds based on all the talks, uh, previous seven talks we had. The highest scorer of each round will be eligible for the prize. What that means is every round is a competition in itself. So one first round will have one winner, second round will have might have another winner, and third round might have yet another winner. So you have three chances to win. Third one is that we continue watching the live stream. You have to be on this live stream all the time to know uh, the updates. Rule number four, preferably use another device, a mobile or a laptop to play the quiz. So you can watch your live streaming through one device and have your uh, quiz open in another device so that you're very fast in attempting the quiz and you don't miss out on the update. Okay, preferably you can, uh, it, I would suggest you use two devices, one for the live stream and one for the quiz. If you do not have two devices because maybe multiple participants are there in the house, uh, then you can switch between uh, the application so you can watch the live stream when the quiz begins go to the quiz complete it and then come back uh, that would be the second suggestion one okay rule number five let's all if we have the other device ready let's go to menti.com on our other device and uh, we will soon display the uni code that you will be uh, asked to type in for the first round and we have a uni code for every round so watch out for the uni code uh, rule number six, please enter your full name and community name. Uh, for example, you can say John Lobo, your full name, space St. Valentine community. And you can, when you enter the quiz, uh, make sure that you're entering your name and your community name. Now, if the quiz doesn't, if the, um, uh, you know, if the, if it doesn't allow you to write the complete name of the community, you can write it in short form. For example, St. Teresa of Child Jesus can be written as SDCJ. We are also okay with short forms. If it doesn't fit in in that text field, that's also completely fine. Uh, once you enter your name, you have to hit submit. And uh, you can do that right now, actually. You can go to menti.com, uh, enter your uh, name. Sorry. Uh, so we will do it when the time comes. We will give you the code. That time you can enter your full name and community name. Make sure you answer all the questions because you just get one minute for every question and it's fastest finger first. So ensure that you answer very fast. Um, rule number seven, a very good rule, is that multiple family members can participate from different devices. So, and this quiz is a game for all uh, adults, seniors, kids, children, everyone can participate. So, uh, and the entire family can play together. So bring all of them for the quiz. I hope the rules are clear to you. Um, we are ready to begin the first round. All right. So the website address is given over here. 
go to www.menti.com on another device and when it asks you for the code you can type in 5668-2201 i repeat 5668-2201 another option could be you can use this barcode and scan your device against it to get into the quiz there could be two ways for you to log in into the quiz And when it asks you to type the name, please ensure you're typing your full name and the community name and then hitting submit button. Okay, so I see that we have a total of six. Um, we have many participants joining. Maybe you are so used to uh, giving this quiz online that you were very fast. In joining, if you have any doubts, uh, please put in your comments. We will um, try to help you to the best of our abilities. So as members are joining, um, I have a trick question for you. Not a trick question, but I have uh, just something to ask maybe. Um, so you, if you remember from uh, one of the incidents from Jesus' life is when he had to multiply uh, the food, right? He had to multiply two loaves of bread and five fish because he had to feed the 5,000 people. So if you had the power to multiply something, if Jesus gave you the power to multiply something right now, what would you ask him to multiply? Type in the comments. If you had the power, if you had the power of the, you already, you always have the power, but if you could do that miracle of multiplying something, anything, what would that be? Type in the comment section. Okay. So if I had the power, maybe I would ask the Lord to multiply the number of oxygen cylinders that COVID patients need, the number of vaccinations, the number of injections, uh, donors, and if I had the power to reduce something, I would just pray for the reduction of the virus. So I guess we have a lot of participants have started joining in. If you have any doubts, please put in the comments. Yeah, Brother George, you're not audible. Okay, um, Brother George, if you can hear me, I'm, I can't hear you. Um, if you can give me a cue, if we are ready to start, uh, you can give me a cue in the chat box or in the WhatsApp group so I know that we can start. All right, 17 people have joined and I've got the green signal to start the quiz. Okay, so with, I hope you're there with your next device ready and we are ready to display the questions one by one. Ready to start? All the best. The questions are going to come up on the screen. So the first question is, I came that they may have life and have it sufficient, abundantly, excessively all of the above this one is pretty simple i hope to see all 17 of you get it right i came that they may have life and have it sufficient abundantly excessively all of the above From the looks of it, this quiz looks very easy. So, so encourage all your family members to join. 
usually we hate examinations, but I think this one looks easy to me. At least the first question is. Let's take a look. I think we have almost finished voting. Time's up. Okay, I'm so glad to see 14 out of 17 got it right. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. A very famous verse of the Bible. So congratulations. Let's look at the leaderboard. Okay. So these are the first 10 from all the participants. Okay, very close. Like I can see that the points are very close yeah, because it's an easy answer. But Myra was the fastest to get this one. So good job. But all of you were very close. Let's take a look at the other questions and hope to see this graph change. We have question two. Get ready. Let's take a look at what question number two is. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the dash. Comes from above, dictionary, option C is mouth of God, and option four, Bible. When Jesus was tempted by Satan, this is what he gave in reply. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the dash. Comes from above, dictionary, mouth of God, Bible. If you, even if you're not at the Bible, logically, what do you think the answer is? What you would have said to, the, to Satan if Satan tempted you with a lot of food when you were fasting? Okay, this one is also pretty easy. I hope to see a lot of winners. Time's up. Oh, nice. So we have 12 people who got it right this time. Um, last time we had 14. So good job. Let's take a look at how the leaderboard has changed. Okay, I can see points getting added. Okay, so we have Cyril D'Souza, who's the, who's the fastest, with a score of 1974, followed by Jeffrey, very close with 1968, hardly uh, a, a difference of six points. But I think all the participants are very close. I mean, if you look at the bars, they are all so similar. Okay, we'll have to wait for more questions to see the winner. Okay, we have to be very fast. We have to predict the question first only. Okay, tithe means one dash. This one is very easy. I hope all 17 of you get it right. Tithe means one dash. Is it one twelfth, one thirteenth, one tenth, one eleventh? Something that we're expected to do from our wages, from our earnings. How much part of our earnings do we have to contribute? Tithe means that. What portion of our earnings? Tithe means one twelfth, one thirteenth, one tenth, or one eleventh. This one is very, very easy. Everyone has voted. Okay, so we have 15 of them who got it right. Okay, nice. Uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard. I think we made the quiz too easy. That's why we have so many good scorers already. Okay, again, uh, Cyril is in the lead. Um, we have Cyril again, a leading, followed by Jeffrey uh, and Audreen, very close. Audreen Rodrix is also very close. Uh, Jeffrey, please uh, please put, uh, put down your uh, community name in the comment section because we would like to know which community you belong to. Those who have not put your names, please uh, type your name uh, and your community name in the chat box, uh, in the comment section on YouTube. 
for us to know which community you are from. It's very important to identify you. Next question. How often is it required that we go for confession? How often is it required that we go for confession? At least once a week, at least once a year, at least once a month, at least once in a lifetime. Very easy for us to vote, but I hope we are also following this. So how often? How many times should we go for confession? Also a good time for us to reflect on whether we are actually doing it. Should we confess once a week, once a year, at least once a month, or at least once in our entire lifetime? How many times should we confess? I hope this one is also easy for you. Let's take a look at how many got it right. Time's up. 10 got it right. Yes, we have to confess at least once a year. Um, there's no harm in confessing once a week, once a month, but at least once a year. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Cyril, I hope Cyril, there's nobody to beat Cyril, is it? Cyril is yet again leading. Okay, Audrin has taken over. Uh, uh, Audrin's in the second. Audrin Rodericks, good job. You got the second place this time. And Jeffrey falling closely behind on the third place. We also have um, Nathan, Priya, Amelia, Florine, Chris, Lata, John. It's not too late. You can still come up. Hardly a difference of few seconds in voting. So all the best to all of you. Let's take a look at the next question. You need, you need superpowers this, to win this one. It's an easy quiz maybe. Why so many wins are there? So let's take a look at the last question of the quiz. Question number six of this round. Eucharistic fast before receiving the Holy Eucharist is? How long should we fast before receiving the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Communion? Is it 30 minutes before the Mass? Option B, one hour after the Mass. Option C, one hour before the Mass. Or option B, one hour during the Mass. Before we receive the body of Christ, it's important that we fast. The Eucharistic fast has to be taken. How prior? Is it 30 minutes before the Mass? Everyone has voted. Let's take a look. 12 people have voted for one hour before the Mass. That's correct. Yes, the fast has to be taken for one hour before the Mass. And now let's take a look at the final leaderboard. Okay, so our provisional winner for this round is Audrine Rodix from St. Valentine Community. Good job. So I thought Cyril was going to win, but uh, Audrine has this one. Um, again, it's a provisional winner. What I mean by provisional is we'll take a look at all the answers once again, just to confirm. But as a provisional winner, Audrine Rodix, you got this one. Now we have something very interesting. We have with us uh, an amazing performer. Uh, sorry, let's before that, let's take a look at uh, the leaderboard of the quiz. Now we split the leaderboard. We try to see um, how the children and teenagers and youth have done in the quiz series. So in the total number of uh, quiz that uh, seven quizzes that we had in the series, among the children, we have Aaron D'Souza, who's from St. Teresa of Charges community with 760 points, closely followed by Nathan, uh, Nathan from St. Valentin community with 700 points and not very behind with just a, a matter of 20 points uh, behind maybe. We have Crystal Narius from Don Bosco with 680 points. Congratulations, Aaron, Nathan and Crystal. Good job. As children, you're growing in your faith. Let's look at the teenagers now. This is how the final leaderboard looks. We have in the first place, 
Paul Money from Our Lady of Wellankini with 760 points. Then we have Christina Nerius from Don Bosco with 680 points. And just 10 points behind with 670 points, we have Garissa Anthony from St. Clair Community. Congratulations to all the winners. Good job. I'm glad that teens are doing so well. And let's take a look at our youth. Now we have in the first place, Audrine Rodericks from St. Valentin Community with 1,050 points. Okay, somebody's close to 1,000 benchmark. We have Rita um, from Saint uh, from Our Lady of Belankani with 910 points. And we also have uh, Lichen Sequera from Don Bosco with 150 points. Congratulations to all the children, teenagers and youth for acing the quiz. Now we have something special for you. We have with us Jason Cardoza from St. Valentine Community. We welcome you on board, Jason. We, are, we can't wait to hear from you. We can't wait to get your live performance started. But I would like to know more about you, Jason. Can you tell us what are you doing currently? Hi, hi everyone. Good evening. Hi, Rishi. So uh, currently I'm a, I'm a management consultant working with Deloitte. And uh, this is my brother Aaron. He's going to be singing as well today. And uh, he used to work for uh, CMA CGM, which is another shipping company. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And uh, I'm a mechanical engineer as well. Okay. That's a very cool profile, uh, both of you. And can you tell us uh, how did you uh, develop this interest for music and how did this all begin? Uh, well, uh, I think ever since we were young, uh, we've been going for family parties, family get togethers and we always end up, there's always a sing song session. So, so I, I loved singing and uh, later on uh, I ended up picking up uh, the guitar when I was in grade 10. I started quite late, but uh, I'm glad that I did. And I think it's because of that family get togethers that I got interested in music. Sure. And, and I've heard that uh, people also say that you sound and look like Anatta. How true is that? Sorry, sound and look like? Faran Akhtar. <laughs> people complimented you that way? I've heard that once, once or twice by a couple of friends, but uh, yeah, I have to get a lot more fitter. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's, uh, let's welcome Faran Akhtar, Akka, um, Jason Cardoza. Sure. Yeah, I'll get started. Uh, is, it, is it audible? I hope. Yes, it is. What a friend we have in Jesus. Take it to the Lord in 
more song for you guys. Uh, give me a second. Okay. I've come before you today. And there's just one thing that I wanna say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For all you've given to me. For all the blessings that I cannot see. Thank you, Lord. With a song of praise, with an outstretched song, I'll bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. performance uh, please share in the comment section how did you like Jason's performance we would like to know from you uh, we can see some claps and uh, some celebration reactions but Jason also would like to know how you felt we can't hear you but we can see your comments so on YouTube type in your comments let Jason know how he did and uh, let's encourage him to keep um, doing such live performances and uh, perform for um, for us to enjoy music. Thanks, Thank thanks everyone. So okay, so we have some amazing reactions coming on YouTube. I can see the comments. Awesome, Jason and Aaron, wonderful, very nice. And a lot of stars and smileys and thumbs up. Very nice, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I think now we have all uh, sort of freshened up for the next round. So that was a good musical refreshment that we all got. So let's go back to, uh, let's be ready with the other device and let's go back to menti.com and we will soon have another code displayed. Meanwhile, I'm seeing a lot of comments coming for Jason. Okay, so here's your next code. We have to log in to www.menti.com and the code this time is 35427416. 35427416. You could also use the QR code. And for those of you who are already logged in, and if you've not given Jason any comments, you still have some time till others log in. Please mention in the comment section, how did you find Jason's performance? Okay, Jason would be very delighted to see um, all these comments. It, it feels very nice when people motivate you, encourage you. Okay, we also have uh, participants joining in. I think we have 17. Very good. This time I think we got it pretty soon. So we are good to start. Without much further ado, let's start displaying the questions. Uh, yeah. Praise the Lord, Rishi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. I think just give it a few more seconds. There's 19 people joined. I think some people who joined late and missed the first round are coming in now. Yes, please do join because this is, an, this is the next round, but we don't carry over from the previous round. We have a new winner this time. So uh, if you found the quiz very easy and you feel like, hey, my family can also do this quiz. It's so easy. Uh, get them. Uh, get mama, dada, 
um mom and dad get your children to join so i see that we have 19 participants this time please invite your family members tell them the quiz is very easy if you even if you have not listened to the talks you can ace it okay encourage them to come okay a, a lot of these questions are also logical so you will be able to crack these and what if you already have so much bible knowledge that you can crack these quizzes okay uh, one participant seems to have dropped out please join back we are waiting for you we had a total count of 19 but we have 18 now okay the 19th participant is back i can see a lot of interesting avatars uh, that all of you have for the rest of the audience uh, you remember my first question that i had asked you if you had the power to multiply anything what would that be type in the comment section and tell us what would you like to pray for what should be multiplied type in the comment section oh nice so i think uh, people are already people have already started inviting their family members i'm hoping these are your family members who are joining uh you can put the message again on the whatsapp group encourage more people to join and tell them the quiz is very easy do join second round is about to start so last minute participants are very good and sometimes they are the smartest so the true winners might actually be joining now okay yes you have marius has requested for god's grace to fight this covid multiply our grace to fight covid that's a good thing to ask for thank you nerius for sharing that i think we are ready if you had to share one thing that touched you from all these talks if you remember any of our uh, preachers if you remember what they said if one verse that you feel can empower all of us to fight this covid what would that verse be you can type in the comment section on youtube you all need to hear a lot of these things the first question is on your screen weapon to counter the lust of flesh what's the weapon to counter the lust of flesh is it arms giving is it fasting is it praying is it disturb what's the weapon to counter the lust of flesh very very difficult to counter the lust these temptations keep coming but there are some tools given to us which can help us counter these which tool are we talking about right now is it arms giving option b fasting praying or disturbed everyone has voted 16 people have voted for fasting weapon to counter the lust of flesh is indeed fasting good job i told you the quiz is easy that's why so many people are getting it right okay let's take a look at the leaderboard oh we have a new fastest finger first this time we have amelia fernandez who has uh, the fastest vote followed by jeffrey Jeffrey has not given up. Jeffrey and Agnes, Cyril, Florin, Audrin, Nata, Venisha, Jaden, Priya. Good job, all of you. Very, very close. Uh, I think we are ready to move to the next question. Okay, some new winners. Interesting. Let's take a look at question number two. Answer fast to get more points. The church asks us to do three things. during the season of lent which is related to pride flesh and lust first option sleep rest honor option 2 alms giving reconciliation fast option 3 ask seek knock and option 4 alms giving fasting 
how do we overcome pride flesh the pride of pride and lust and flesh how do we overcome this what does the church ask what is the church asking us to do of course uh, not de- not just during the season of lent but even otherwise we can overcome these things with these three tools what are these okay 3 2 1 time up 17 people out of 21 have voted for arms giving fasting and prayer that's amazing so you know what tools to use let's also take a look at the leaderboard the scores seem to be changing but who do we have in the lead we have amelia fernandez yet again who's the fastest uh, followed by cyril de souza and Flo- next is florine gonzalez uh in this particular round cyril was the fastest but cyril keep it up i mean i'm sure you can uh, come first also but to all the participants you have four more questions to go um we can still win it all right wipe your hands remove all the sweat and get ready for the question number 3 message proclaimed by jesus and john the baptist what's the message option a repent for the kingdom of god for the kingdom of heaven has come near option b healing for everyone option c deliverance for everyone option d all of the above what's the message proclaimed by jesus and john the baptist option a repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near option b healing for everyone option c deliverance for everyone option b all of the above this question may be may not be that easy but i hope all of you get it right we have 3 more seconds to go wow this is amazing this is the first time we have almost 20 participants giving us the right answer repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near very good that means all of you know uh, all of you have enough bible knowledge it's proven okay now it's all about who's voting the fastest okay we have audreen rodricks uh, who was the fastest in this round and also who's uh, leading on the leaderboard with 2895 points just one point behind we have cyril de souza from stcj 2894 it's a tough competition and we have on the third place florine gonzalez with 2891 points okay but nevertheless let's have uh, let's take a look at the remaining questions we can still change all this let's look at question 4 we have three more questions to go type fast you can still do this prayer humbles us and sets us free from prayer humbles us and sets us free from a lust of flesh b financial problems c last of eyes d pride am i allowed am i allowed to confuse the participants i i want that that would be fun yeah <laughs> uh, according to me if we had an option called all of the above i would say prayer can set you free from all the problems just pray for any problem you have pray and work on it and i'm sure god will help you out Okay, I think this was a tricky question. That's why we have fourteen participants who said that prayer humbles us and sets us free from pride. That's correct. You can overcome pride with prayer. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Now I'm I feel like biting my nails. Okay, so we have Audrey. No, who is it? We have Cyril with three thousand six hundred and. Uh, three thousand eight hundred and sixty points. Cyril De Souza. We have just ten points behind. We have Audrey Rodriguez from Saint Valentine's, um, and we have uh, 
we would like to say that in this round, Venisha was the fastest voter. So Venisha, good job. Um, good job that you've developed that speed. Uh, let's see if it helps you in the next two questions. Okay, two more questions to go. Answer fast. The three elements of the Lord's Prayer. Look at your phone. The three elements of the Lord's Prayer. Relate, redirect, remember. Reach, relate, redirect. Redirect, resubmit, relate. This one might be tricky because it's not a direct answer. I remember this is, was uh, Brother Augustine's talk. Uh, it was a part of that talk. So I'm just giving you clues, but I'm not giving the answer, okay? So what are the three elements of the Lord's Prayer? They all start with us. It's so confusing. I'm glad to be on this side of the quiz. I think attempting this one would have been tricky for me. We have 10 more seconds left. I hope you voted for the right uh, option. We have three seconds. Time's up. Okay. Even I don't know this answer. Okay. 15 people have voted for relate, redirect, remember. These are the three elements of the Lord's Prayer. Very good. That means you've heard the talks. It's not just Bible knowledge. And now let's take a look at the leaderboard. Okay. So the nails on my fingers are not enough. I have to bite some, somebody, somebody else's nails now. Oh, okay. So we have Cyril D'Souza from STCJ with 4,819 points. We have Amelia who's come up suddenly with 4,713 points. And we have Jaden, maybe another winner in the making with 4,593 points. And in this particular round, Amelia was the fastest. So Amelia is back in the competition. Okay, okay. Now this is getting very interesting. Okay, let's take a look at the remaining questions. This is the last question for this round. With that, we will be able to declare the winner. What should I do to overcome pride? What should I do to overcome pride? Option A, fasting. Option B, almsgiving. Option D, submit to God's will. The options are so close. How are you answering these questions? I would have voted for multiple options if I were you. Like if the if the if menti.com allowed for it. What should I do to overcome pride? Fasting, arms giving, submit to God's will. The quiz is getting very interesting. If you're not in the quiz, you're missing out. Okay, we have five seconds to go. I hope everyone has voted. Time's up. Wow, this is, um, I think people got confused. It's between almsgiving and submitting to God's will, but the right answer is submitting to God's will. What should I do to overcome prayer upright? We have to submit to God's will. Okay, now this will decide, this will change the leaderboard a lot. Okay, I'm waiting to see. Okay, now we can see some differences. Hmm. Okay, we have Cyril D'Souza from STCJ with a score of 5,787 points as the provisional winner for round number two. Congratulations, Cyril. We'll confirm uh, once again, re-verifying all the answers. Okay, but for now, you're the provisional winner. Good job, Cyril. Let's all congratulate Cyril. Uh, put in your comments in the uh, comment section on YouTube. So we can get to just congratulate. Uh, now let's take a look at uh, some more winners from quizzes that we had from the previous quiz, uh, quiz series. Now we discuss about adults. As per the final leaderboard, we have in the first place Nirmala Mary from Our Lady of Mercy with a score of 840 points. 
100 points behind, but still with a score of 740 points, we have Zephrin D'Souza, pardon me if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, from St. Teresa of Child Jesus. And just 10 points behind, we have with 730 points, Ramira D'Souza from Our Lady of Hope. Congratulations to all the adults in the community who've participated and uh, finally are on the leaderboard. One interesting thing to note, uh, Rishi, uh, yeah. Zephrin and uh, Ramira, husband and wife, and their son Aaron was on the children's leaderboard. So good to see the entire okay. family participating here. The entire family is growing spiritually. So keep it up. I encourage more families to follow their example and encourage children to join, uh, to give the quiz. It's a very easy quiz. Tell them. Okay. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard for the next category, which is for seniors. I think seniors have shown us truly what seniority means. Even in the scores, if you see, the scores are dramatically different from the previous scores that we've seen so far, with all three of them scoring more than 1,000. So a lot of competition here. We have Flavia Bonamis from Our Lady of Mercy with 1,120 points. Very close. We have Florine Gonzalez from St. Valentine Community with 1,110 points. I would have just given, it, given you a tie, but still 10 points difference. And we have in the third place, Agnes uh, Ramtike from Our Lady of Mercy with 1,070 points. Salute to all my seniors. You have truly shown how knowledgeable you are. Uh, and even at this age, you've shown that you're very smart. Okay, moving uh, on. Now we have something interesting. We have the entire leaderboard, like we have community-wise, where are we standing? Let's take a look at the points community-wise. We have, say, Don Bosco leading with 7,010 points. It was very obvious. Looking at all the winners from, Saint Don, uh, from Don Bosco, it was kind of very easy to guess that Don Bosco would lead it. And we have somebody closely following behind. We have Our Lady of Mercy in the second place with 6,450 points. And then we have in the third place, St. Valentine Community with 5,160 points. And we have in the fourth place, STCJ, St. Teresa of Child Jesus with 3,120 points. And there are all the community's points are given on the right side. I'm glad to see all of you participating. And I hope to see the leaderboard change next time. But congratulations to all the communities. Congratulations, Don Bosco, St. Valentine, Our Lady of Mercy, and St. Teresa. Good job. Now we would like to take a look at some testimonies. People who are open to sharing their faith and sharing an example of how God has changed their lives. Let's take a look at what they have to share. <laughs> Hi, I am Aaron. I found the quiz very helpful and interesting and I love to see my name on the scoreboard. Thank you. Hi, this is Zephrin from STCG. The prayer service for me has been a great experience. What I liked in particular is the praise and worship hymns. And I do make it a point to attend whenever it's possible for me. A sincere thanks to the entire team for this relentless effort and bringing the word of God to all of us. God bless, take care and be safe. Hello everyone, I'm Ramira from the STCJ group. I wanted to share my experience on uh, the Wednesday prayer service that I attend. Initially, I used to attend these sessions because I love the praise and worship and the singing that used to happen. But gradually, I started dwelling deeper in the teachings uh, that were shared by various speakers. One of the most recent teachings that comes to my mind right now is uh, on the topic Our Inheritance in Christ where Brother Augustine very beautifully brought up the story of uh, Martinez and explained it to the three R's about how we are so close to our inheritance and yet are yet so far. I've also enjoyed being a part of the quizzes 
and what I love about it is the fact that if you really don't know the quiz, you can always go back, refer to the teachings, refer to the Bible, and um, then give it an attempt. So overall, it has been a lovely experience, and uh, I would love to thank and like to thank the team for the various efforts that they have put in. Uh, indeed, uh, it was not easy, and they still ensured to see it through. Uh, thank you so much and God bless. Good evening everyone. Me participating in the quiz made me come more closer to God. It helped me recognize how I can better connect with God each day. It also increased my spiritual strength and what areas I need to avoid. This not only encouraged me, but also helped me see how I can grow in my walk with Christ. Today, I'm very happy about it that I took part in this quiz and came more closer to God. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Hi, everybody. This is the first time I participated in the quiz series. I used to listen to the talk and answer the questions. Uh, uh, one thing I learned and and remember is that Saint Mother Teresa used to pray a lot and and was very humble and loved the poor. I pray that we may all be like her. Thank you. Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. In Ephesians 5.19, we read, Speak to one another with the words of psalms, hymns, and sacred songs. Sing hymns, psalms to the Lord with praise in your hearts. This is what happening in the praise and worship of our prayer group. I thank the Almighty God for this beautiful praise and worship. Second, I thank the Almighty God for the beautiful sharing of word. Wisdom is a part of God's creation. He bestows it on all creation and on all people. Your word is a lamp to my feet and light to my path. This is the second activity of our prayer meeting. This sharing of messages through the preaching of the word of God is wonderful and enriching to our soul. Every word of God proves true and a shield to those who take refuge in Him. So, when I read the referred chapters for the quiz, I was unable to stop only with those chapters. I felt the thirst for reading more and more because the word of God gave me hope, power, knowledge and fulfillment of promises. It is truly the restoration for my soul and hope and everybody will feel the same. I pray the Almighty God Bless more and more restoration of souls through this beautiful fellowship of our prayer group. Thank you. Praise the Lord. My name is Dara Sandrini from St. Clair Community and I am very happy to participate in this quiz which helped me to gain more knowledge and more understanding about God. If you see in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 45, it says, Jesus opened their minds to understand the scriptures. This was really helped me while listening the talk as well as doing the quizzes. And thanks to the charismatic prayer group members for taking so much effort for the series. Thank you. Hi, it was great time playing the quiz during the lockdown. Instead of sitting idle, we could listen to word of God 
and through this quiz we remember certain points and these quiz tells how much we were attentive during the talks it was great time playing the quiz thank you i'll post up to our other that we are going through tough life and this quiz competition teaches us about our life the word of god spread through the gospel teaching in helping the community grow stronger i would also like to thank all those who are participating in the quiz competition this quiz competition is not only to score marks but to improve in our ability to understand the word of god we pray to almighty god to bless all the communities during the pandemic time those who are suffering from covid for their speedy recovery thank you so much to all of all those who volunteered to share their testimonies i hope it inspires all of us to participate in large numbers i think we are ready for the final round again this is an independent round uh, we can have more participants join in and here's your code for the last round go to www.menti.com and type in the code 47545481 i repeat 47545481 you could also scan the qr code if you have family members closely watching behind ask them to join it's an independent round we can have new winners and we can have more participation also it's very easy to vote it's not technically that challenging just try it once maybe you could be the winner if you have never tried this quiz before take your mobile try to log in so we have 17 people who have joined For those of you who are already joined and waiting for it to begin, if if you have any thoughts that are coming to your mind, like hey, I want to win this one, or uh, I think I'm going to win this one, anything, any comments that you want to share, feel free to share in the comment section. I would like to know your thoughts and how you're feeling at the moment. Narius I hope you got the code it is 47545481 the code is displayed on the screen amazing so i can see, see some comments amazing so people are liking it we have 21 people who have joined Narius if you could confirm if you have joined because i can only see avatars so i don't know who's really joined Okay, and this time when you join, I hope you've mentioned your name and your community name. Please remember that the points you score get added to your community, so it's important that your contribution gets added and you're recognized, and your community is recognized. We have twenty-one. I, I. Would would like to see this number shoot up a little more. I think every every round we have seen more participants, so I thought with this round I might see thirty. Okay, if your family members are waiting to join, 
show them how to join i'll give you a cue when we're about to start if you feel like this quiz has been interesting fun invite more people to join if you know a close community member text them and tell them hey why don't you join the quiz it's very interesting and we have one more round to go and you can still win encourage more people to join share the fun share the knowledge okay check your whatsapp groups is this, is it posted on your whatsapp groups what's the code for the next round type it there and tell them it's very easy to join why don't you try one round okay all you have to do is go to menti.com www.menti.com on uh, your browser chrome or whichever browser you're using and just type the code 47545481 and mention your full name and community name and that's how you join okay 23 participants i like to see the count going up if you have any trouble logging in please mention in the comment section on youtube so we can help clarify and volunteer to help others who are struggling to join maybe it's their first time if there's any any other thought any interesting bible verse from all these seven talks that you can remember type it in the comment section let us just take in the word of god as we are waiting for this round to begin i think every moment counts i think it's a constant learning for all of us yes i'm glad to see narius has joined from seen uh, from don bosco i think don bosco is rocking it everywhere very vocal even in the comment section so share an interesting bible verse or anything interesting the word of god if it comes to you share it in the comment section mention your community name and those of you interested in taking part in the quiz just go to menti.com they will ask you for a code type in this code and write your name community name and enter the quiz we are about to begin 24 is a good number So how do we usually prepare for these quizzes i hope your notes are ready we are about to start love not the world neither the things that are in the world which bible verse says this is it john 215 is it 1 john 215 is it 2 john 115 oh the options are so confusing love not the world neither the things that are in the world very easy to get lost in the world's materialistic things which bible verse warns us against it is it john 215 1 john 215 or is it option c 2 john 115 i'm glad there are only three options i would have gone bonkers looking at whenever it comes to giving bible verses very difficult for me to remember the bible verses but kudos to all of you who are attempting this quiz um i hope this will give us a lot of disparity in the leaderboard i'm sure bible verses is not doesn't come that easily to all of us so let's see times up let's see the let's take a look at the leaderboard okay now this is some competition so we have seven of them who got it right uh and um the verse is 1 john 215 that says love not the world not the things in the world let's take a look at the leaderboard Okay, now this is truly Bible knowledge. Okay, now this this time we have a different winner. We have Garissa Anthony from Saint Clair. We have Amelia Fernandez, who's still among the winners, and we have a new participant who's come in third. Sophia, welcome, and welcome to the first few rankers. I mean, continue. I hope I I really hope to see new winners this time. And uh, for the others, Priya, Audrey, John, Lata, Agnes. Tweeto Priya, uh, Tweeto, please mention your correct name 
uh, please mention your correct name and community name in the comment section. We would like to know who our participants are and which community you belong to. Okay. So good, good job, everyone. We have five more questions to go. Question number two is about to come on your screens. Let's get ready to vote. In Luke 2.37, what was the prophetess's age while she was fasting and praying? Option 1, 88. Option 2, 89. Option 3, 82. Option 4, 84. So this is very tricky. I mean, if this prophetess was fasting at whatever, she must be in her 80s. From the options, I can at least guess that much. But uh, I am not able to fast at this age. I mean, kudos and hats off to this prophetess for even fasting at that age. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. We have 10 people who voted for age 84. I think many of them kind of knew it. Let's see if the leaderboard is giving us any difference. Okay, so we see some new participants. We, I mean, uh, some scores changing. Okay, so we have Garissa leading. Garissa Anthony from St. Clair with a score of 1,957 points. Great, great going, Garissa. We have Priya Pinario um, from St. Valentine's Community following behind with 1,823 points. We also have Lata. Uh, I think Lata and Priya have just joined the winners. Like, I mean, they're in the top three. So good to see with 1,671 points. Good job, Lata. Good going. And the fastest one to vote in this round was Jeff. Yet another new name for me from St. Valentine. I'm, I'm glad to see new winners. I think the winner might be different this time. Okay. So let's look at... We have four more questions to go. Let's look at the third question. Come on, buck up. CCC dash emphasizes on fasting, prayer and alms giving to conquer the three inclinations of sin. Which verse says this? Is it verse 2304? Is it verse 2403? Option C, is it was 2043 or is it option D, 2034? Okay, this one is tough. Catechism of the Catholic Church uh, gives us a lot of teachings and uh, this particular teaching was on uh, fasting, prayer and almsgiving. But which exact verse gives us, emphasizes on these thing three things, how to conquer these three things? I do you want me to repeat the options? It's so it, they all sound the same to me. Okay, we have three more seconds to go. Time's up. Okay, so we have nine people, surprisingly, who got the right answer. It is 2043. This uh, was from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, talks about how to overcome. Okay, we have the leaderboard changing. Oh, nice to see that we have Lata leading. Lata, very good to see you come up. Lata from St. Valentine Community, followed by Garissa Anthony from St. Clair. And the fastest voter of this round was Sophia. She's also on the third place currently. We also have Priya uh, following closely behind. Audrine, John, Severine, Jeff, Amelia, Florine. Okay, good, 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 good to see so many new names. Um, that means we had new participants in the third round. Let's look at the fourth question of the final round. Arms giving has direct relationship to financial growth. Is it option B, rituals? Is it option C, spiritual growth? Or is it option D, to gain attention? Arms giving has direct relationship to which of these? Financial growth, rituals, spiritual growth, or to gain attention? I don't know this answer. Like I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have voted only. I would have like, all these options look so good to me that uh, I wouldn't have been able to answer. But kudos to all of you who are attempting it. 
it's just a matter of typing fast and typing right. Uh, I mean, selecting the correct option fast and selecting it right. We have seven more seconds to go. Okay, let's take a look at the scores. We have, wow, this one was very easy. We have 19 of them saying that it is spiritual growth. Arms giving can lead to spiritual growth. Good job. Now let's see. I think this must have confused the leaderboard very much because this is a very good question. So many of them got it right. Okay, let us see. Very good to see. Lata leading again with 3,448 points, followed by Sophia with 2,909 points and Garissa Anthony from St. Clair with 2,853 points. Sophia, we would love to know from which community you are. Please tell us, uh, please mention in the comment section which community you are from. We would like to recognize you and your community. And the fastest voter of this round was Jeff. Jeff, I think, is, is very good at typing and, uh, you know, he's very good with his mobile. I can imagine that. Uh, good job, Jeff. I hope you get the next answer right. Two. Okay, let's take a look at the remaining questions. For those of you who have not typed your uh, community name, please do that in the comment section. Which scripture says that we have an inheritance? Which scripture says that we have an inheritance? Is it Ephesians 1.11? Is it Philippines 2.5? Or is it Hebrew 3.7? Or John 6.35? So many books in the Bible. So many verses to remember. How do you guys do it? Which scripture talks about we getting an inheritance? Is it Ephesians 1.11, Philippines 2.5, is it Hebrews 3.7 or is it John 6.35? Whether you vote fast or not, just to get this answer right takes a lot of, takes a lot from you. I mean, everyone has voted. Wow. 15 people have voted for Ephesians 1.11. Yes, that verse talks about how we inherit God's kingdom. Great. Great to know that you have read Ephesians. Okay, I can't. I'm too nervous to read the Louis board right now. Oh. Okay, Lata is leading again with 4,320 points. Very good lead, Lata. Keep it up. We have Sophia following closely behind with 3,896 points. We have Garissa Anthony, who is coming third on the leaderboard. She was also the she she's also the fastest voter for this question, um, with three thousand eight hundred forty four points. I think it's very close between Sophia and Garissa, and even um, Audrey and Garissa for that matter. Okay, good, good, good. Yay! Almost to the end of the quiz. We have the last question. Vote fast. Vote right. The fastest one gets the largest points. When can a priest refuse to give absolution during confession? When can a priest refuse to give absolution during confession? Is it option A, when it's a mortal sin? Is it option B, when it's a serious crime? Is it option C, when the confessor shows no willingness to avoid repeating a recurring sin. Wow, this one is easy. 20 people have voted for option 3. That is when confessor shows no remorse. I think it's a very logical question. Wow. Now this was all about voting fast. This question was very easy. Okay, let's take a look at the winner of this last and final round. Who is the winner for quiz Round number three, we have Lata Bellarmin from St. Valentine community with a score of 5,254 uh, points. Lata, remember you're a provisional winner. We will check the results once again. We have to verify and then we'll declare the results once again. But for now, Lata, congratulations. You're the provisional winner for this round. Wow, I'm already sweating uh, to know that this quiz has been so nail-biting. I mean, the finish was nail-biting and 
the winners were very unpredictable and i'm glad that the winners were different um so with this i would like to invite brother agustin to give us the final vote of thanks hi hi rishi thank you uh i i really enjoyed the quiz uh, program and i would like to take some time to thank a uh, lot of wonderful people out there that has made this possible for us so first of all you know i want to thank father jervis and father anthony they have always been encouraging and supporting of whatever we wanted to do so thank you a big thank you to father jervis and father anthony so uh, i also want to thank thank the entire team behind uh, uh this quiz program you know so we have a dedicated team and i want to name those team members so there is rishi there is anna uh, siona then uh, the, uh then we have russell we have helen we have banis anthony uh so i really want to thank this team uh because you know they really take time out and the quiz seems to be easy but there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes you know they go through those sessions they think out the questions and even the alternative and you know trying to put some tricky questions it really consumes time and today no one has the time for anything you know we are so busy uh, but i am really thankful that you know we have a team and i really never look into the quiz thing you know how it is being conducted the entire team manages it on their own and really a big thank you to all rishi thank you for hosting this uh, live quiz you really did a wonderful job uh, you are a really good host <laughs> thank you rishi uh, i also want to thank you the youth who have been uh, uh, supporting us you know in uh, various ways especially anthony and uh, especially anthony and rehan domingo uh, they have been really contributing a lot even when we were in the church they were always there to help us out in a small small things thank you anthony and thank you rehan uh, i really enjoyed the live performance today uh, jason and aaron the and the two songs that you played you know the strumming was so beautiful the singing was so beautiful thank you so much you know and it's good to see a uh, youth using their gift to pray, to praise the lord to glorify the lord so i really encourage you know uh, aaron and uh, jason uh, continue doing what you are doing you are a blessing to us thank you so much thank you to for all the participants it is because you have been participating every week that we are encouraged to for, to have this quiz program and i was greatly encouraged when i heard those testimonies because i used to always wonder are we making any difference you know we are uh, having this prayer meetings this quiz programs but when we get a feedback then it's a real encouragement because if even if one person is benefiting you know, then it is worth it so thank you for sharing those feedbacks and thank you for letting us know that whatever we are doing is helping in some way or the other uh, thank you very much do continue to send your feedbacks because that will really really and keep keep on you know encouraging us yes and uh, we will be uh, starting a new teaching series and so uh, a new quiz uh, will start so the new teaching series will be based on the holy spirit uh, since we are uh, moving into the uh, time of pentecost very soon we will be having the feast of pentecost so we thought you know let's have a teaching series on the holy spirit so that will definitely uh, help uh, each one of us as we go through those teaching series do continue to join us every wednesday and uh, we pray that as soon as you know everything is become normal we can come back into the church uh, do join us in the church when things become normal even but there is something uh, you can do in a small way uh is you know if you can just pass on those prayer meeting links to people uh in your contacts uh, we do not know how the lord will use this small act to touch someone because uh, to today really uh, it's a tough time that people are going through and they need encouragement and this is the least that we can do as of now so it will be nice if you can just encourage pass on the word invite people for the prayer meetings 
besides the prayer meeting so we have regular intercessions every thursday uh, and i really want to thank you there is a team of intercessors praying now we are taking up every request that comes to the prayer group for personal request you know we are praying not only in the intercessory groups but all the intercessors are praying for those people every day so i would also encourage you to be part of this uh, prayer warrior you know or prayer army because that is what we need now we need to be we need to really humble ourselves before the lord and plead for him to have mercy and intervene and and uh, and really uh, save us from this uh, situation that we are going through so the uh, we have intercessory meet every thursday a uh, google meet is circulated i hope you are getting it if you are not getting it just message any one of us and we will ensure that you are in the list uh, of broadcast no, so that you receive the message we will be conducting a special parish rosary for the month of may on 8th may which is a saturday we will be sharing the details uh, soon and this is uh, we are taking this initiative because our archdiocese has guided us to do that uh so we will be organizing this on a parish level so do wait for those details and thank you once again uh each one of you every one of you uh, do continue to participate and do continue to attend the prayer meetings thank you god bless you all thank you so much uh, brother agustin for ensuring that everyone was thanked and we are grateful to all the people who organized this A, a special thank you and a very big thank you to brother george for bringing us bringing all this together right he's the man working behind the scenes um and his contribution should also be thanked for so oh i am really re thank you rishi <laughs> for reminding me i mean he is doing so much taking care of the music ministry taking care of the quiz you know and really and sometimes you know we just So thank you, Rishi, for uh, uh, mentioning about George. George, a big thank you from all of us here. Thank you so much. Thank you for recognizing all the members, and um, we hope to see more people participate and uh, people joining every ministry. Um, with that, there's an interesting update. Uh, we we also have prizes for the winners. So the prizes will be given in the church once it's. once it reopens and then and when we start our prayer meetings in the church we will give away the prizes so let's hope and pray that things will soon settle and we can all join back physically in the church and of course the winners can get their prizes um i hate to say goodbye i i love i loved the experience here and i hope you enjoyed the quiz uh, but as, as they say all good things whether good all things whether good or bad have to come to an end let's hope and pray that even this corona ends let's pray rigorously for it to end and let's get back to our happy times until next time Na na